It's time to fit the turtle deck on our T51D Mustang. So, in order to do that, we've already fitted these upper bulkhead positions in place. You can notice there's a fair amount of twist here in the tail. That's going to stop once we actually have the turtle deck and then side skins in place. That's what adds the rigidity to the steel structure that we have as a frame uh, in our substructure. So what we're going to do in order to do this is we're going to take the sheet of aluminum and we are going to stretch it across the top of this. Now there's a compound curve here when you have the curve going across here as well as the tapering that happens as the fuselage gets more narrow towards the tail. The way that we work with that in the T51D Mustang is that we stretch this across, we're going to punch holes in the bottom of the skin and we're going to actually stretch it down over these with uh, uh, basically bungee cords. We're going to kind of clamp it down into place, work it until it fits right, and then drill all the holes that do that um, match our uh, upper bulkheads and our stringers here. Now, only once that is completely done, we can then go back and trim it. And that's when it'll actually take shape for the back of the bulkhead, the front bulkhead, and then we're going to trim it along the bottom of these uh, hat sections for the stringers. So let's get to work. It's going to be an interesting fitting process. Let's see what happens.
All right, well, the turtle deck, as you can see here behind me, is basically done now. Uh, we still have it done with the smaller silver 332nd rivet uh, Clecos, and that's because we don't want to enlarge the holes during the process. It will have to come off and on a few more times during this while we do some work inside of it. We have to uh, open it up and uh, put the vent in the fuel tank, get that all set. There'll probably be some antennas that have to be set up. So we still want to leave it temporarily attached for the moment. But the really important part of getting it stretched and fitted and cut to shape is all done. And as you can see, there are hundreds of Clecos involved in this process of holding it there. So we're gonna let it form, fit, and uh, develop a little bit of a memory over time. And uh, then we will get to the next step in our T-51 Mustang build. So for Social Flight, I'm Jeff Simon. Thank you so much for joining us in our series. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out socialflight.com and the free Social Flight mobile apps. Remember, there are tens of thousands of aviation events and destinations, all sorts of places to go to see airplanes and everything about them. We also have webinars. There's just a million things going on and it's a great place to get it. Don't forget about the prizes as well with our fly to win challenge. So again for Social Flight, thank you so much for joining us. Blue skies.